Welcome to the Halloween Z-Wave Character Hack. <laughs> hey everybody, Jerry Miller, 007 Systems, and Happy Halloween! Alright, today we're going to break away from the serious stuff, and we're going to do a fun tutorial. We are going to hack this guy here. <laughs> he is a great little character, they call him the Reaper. He's about three feet tall. And he is set up with a uh, motion sensor or a, an audio sensor that when someone walks in front of him, he starts talking and his eyes glow red. So what we're going to do is hack this little guy here, make him so he's triggered by external sensors. As you may or may not know, the sensors on these devices are really, really bad and they don't trigger half the time or they false a lot. Now giving these guys the ability to be triggered by external sensors gives the, you the ability to set scenes up, set multiple characters to activate with one motion sensor outside your house. In this case we're using Z-Wave outdoor motion sensors that are tied into floodlights and uh, external lighting. Now giving um, those external sensors and your home control system and these characters now that can be triggered individually you now can create scenes where these guys turn on at a certain time turn off at a certain time these people don't move until you, the people walk up to the courtyard or get up to your front door it really gives you the flexibility to do anything you want with these characters and given the fact that you have motion sensors and a controller and the, and the ability to create these scenes it really gives you the ability to create a really nice holiday decoration. So let's figure out what we need and then get into the hack. We are going to need three things for this hack. We are going to need a character of course and that character has a button on it that will trigger it. And we are going to need a relay and an appliance module. Now the relay is called the RM10 and we carry it on the website. And the appliance module in this case is a Z-Wave appliance module. It could be Zigbee or any other protocol you like. And we're going to be using a Vera Plus as our controller. And once we have these three things and the motion sensors on the front of the home to trigger all this, uh, we can go ahead and get into this hack. Okay, something I wasn't able to show you in the photos. This character has a button on it right here near his hand and there was a little sticker on it that said try me or test me or something of that nature but if your character has this type of button that triggers it with just a simple button like that you will be able to use our RM10 our, our RM10 relay on the device to trigger it um, this just means it's shorting out a pair of wires and that's the same thing that our RM10 does so if we circle around to the back of this guy you can see that we took the two wires that went to that switch which were right up here and we cut them and these are the two wires going into the control board right here same two wires the white ones so now we can we uh, cut those connect them to our RM10 with some cheap electrical tape pardon the uh, bad connection there and then ran the RM10 down and it is on the leg right there so now when we plug this bad boy in Excuse me, but doing this with one hand. And we go ahead and trigger the appliance module. We also have alternate menus for your dining pleasures. It'll work on his mouth. So now we know he works, and we can go ahead and place him where he's going to be scaring kids for Halloween. <laughs> Would you like some wine? <laughs> now keep in mind that this device is still powered by its batteries. All we're doing is replacing the switch on its arm with our RM10 as the trigger device. So now whenever we plug, whenever we trigger this device with our with our controller, it will go off whenever we want it to. Okay, now that the character is set up with a new trigger mechanism, we can go ahead and put the character where he's supposed to go. We can run an extension cord to this character. We can run an, a, a power strip 
and we're going to need an appliance module and the RM10 to plug into that power strip. Now in this picture you'll notice we have two appliance modules. One is for the lighting around the window and the pumpkin that's at his feet and the other one is for the character to be triggered himself. So that's about it. And once you get all that set up, you figure out your timing. That the people are going to be walking up to your front door through your front yard. And then you can create the ultimate scene for the ultimate decoration. This is really cool stuff. Hope you guys get into it and have a good time this holiday season. Now let's see what it all looks like put together. Enjoy.